Hello and welcome to this week's Midweek Message for Thursday the 12th of October. I'm Frida and I'm from the Golden Cat team. How often do we really think about the words we use in conversation and in prayer especially? All my life I have prayed for grace with just a minimal understanding of its meaning. The meaning of grace as a Christian name is gift from God and that's a clue. If you remember the three Irish priests who sang lovely spiritual songs in delightful harmony, Father Martin, Father Eugene and Father David, well together they wrote a book called The Priest's Soul Song and in it Father David wrote of gifts and of how some gifts are often passed by or go unnoticed. He said, when I visit schools, children will speak about how good they might be at sport, reading or writing, and that is all very admirable. But when I ask who is the kindest or the most sensitive among them, it's not a question they had ever considered before. And suddenly they seem to realise that gifts are not all about achievements. Other attributes are just as valid and valuable. If we can view things from this perspective, then we can engage with the world in a new and perhaps more enlightened way. Well, Father David is talking about gifts of various sorts and given to all of us. We all have gifts of one kind or another. Have you ever thought about the people you know and meet and thought about who they are and what makes each individual and special? Do you have a clear or rather hazy idea of what is meant by God's grace? We often say together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. But what exactly is that grace? Well, it's a gift from God to enable each of us to grow in our spiritual well-being. Someone called Thomas Brooks believed this about grace. Grace turns lions into lambs, wolves into sheep, monsters into men, and men into angels. Saint Augustine once said, the grace of God does not find men fit for salvation, but makes them so. And what about John Newton, who was once captain of a slave ship, but by the grace of God saw how truly wrong this was, and he went on to become ordained, and it was he who wrote the beautiful hymn amazing grace. His thoughts were, I am not what I might be. I am not what I ought to be. I am not what I wish to be. I am not what I hope to be. But I thank God I am not what I once was. And I can say with the great apostle, by the grace of God, I am what I am. Perhaps a good way of understanding grace is to think of it as undeserved gifts from God. And these undeserved gifts are something we experience personally, giving help to enable us to do something we could not normally do or do well without a helping hand. God's grace may enable us to achieve just about anything. Write a piece of music, perhaps. Unexpectedly find ourselves at someone's side at a crucial time in their life. Anything that happens that you just know you could not have achieved simply by yourself. The spiritual power of God had come to your aid and it was through an act of grace, an undeserved gift from God. 
It's through grace that we experience God's love and it's the kind of love that just pours kindness onto undeserving human beings. God's gift to us of his son Jesus Christ was the once and for all gift of grace, the undeserved gift of forgiveness for our sins. Perhaps you were taught at Sunday school the definition of grace, G-R-A-C-E, meaning God's riches at Christ's expense. God gives us an abundance of free gifts and they're not rewards that we have earned, they are freely given to each of us. Throughout our lives, we are continually growing and evolving physically. We also need to grow and evolve spiritually. And Billy Graham, the well-known minister of faith, tells in his autobiography, Just As I Am, of a decade of grace in his life. He tells of how he and his wife, Ruth, had learned to accept the gift of each new day with thanksgiving even though many years of their lives were not easy. But they discovered that God's goodness and mercy never fail, no matter what life brought. They also discovered that even as they grew older, God still had much to teach them. And they were thrilled to discover that they could trust God in every situation. As Billy Graham reviewed the 10 years of grace, he found himself filled mostly with gratitude for the sheer abundance of God's gifts of grace. J.C. Ryle once said, grace is stronger than circumstances. And Thomas Akempis wrote, they travel lightly who God's grace carries. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this message will encourage us all to ponder on the grace of God. And now, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.